welcome back to another vlog it is saturday today the 4th of august and it is a beautiful day the sun is shining but it's super hot i think today is one of the hottest days that we've had this year it's like 33 degrees but i'm not going to complain because i do love the summer and i prefer this than being super cold so it's all good but so far today has been a pretty good day I spent most of the morning working on my new video which is gonna go up tomorrow and then I went to a really great Pilates class at my gym I have to say that I was a little bit apprehensive going there because one of my biggest like insecurities or things that I really want to work on within my physical body is strengthening my core and my like tummy muscle and abs area and I recently went to a spine specialist and they told me that I have a slight case of scoliosis and my like lower back kind of sticks out more than it should so I kind of have to readjust that and the doctor suggested that I start doing Pilates which I have done before but one of the reasons I don't do it as often which is probably not a good thing but I'm like becoming aware of it is because I find it super super challenging because you do have to use a lot of your core muscles and your abs so because I have this very flexible lower spine which does serve me in some cases like in certain in yoga poses but in other cases it does not serve me because that means my abs are not as strong as I would want them to be so anyway I went today to the class and I just told myself to just do the best that I could and to be totally honest I was a little bit intimidated because everyone else there could do the ab exercises really really well but I was struggling you guys I was really struggling and I was thinking this is why I don't do Pilates as often because I just don't feel like I really know what I'm doing and like I really want my core to be stronger so that I can have like a healthier spine and a healthier body just in general and I was thinking about the other classes that I do so my body pump class my yoga class spinning class these classes I do often and I have a better confidence in those classes because I know them my body knows them but then I had this kind of like aha moment and I thought okay so maybe that's why my core isn't getting stronger is because I'm not challenging myself with new types of exercises so I'm making a commitment to do Pilates and hopefully that's really going to help strengthen my core and just make me feel more confident about my stomach and like the toneness of it this was a little thought that I had this morning and um, I thought I would share it with you guys. So I'm going to try to go to another class tomorrow. There's one I think at around 10 o'clock in the morning so I'm going to try to go to that one but right now I'm going to the city. I'm going to meet Mo and I'm going to take my bike out because the weather is gorgeous and I just I love like biking and being in the sunshine and biking through the trees. It just makes me like very very happy and this is my very simple 33 degree friendly outfit. I adore this white top. It is from ASOS. It's just made out of cotton and as you can see it's very lightweight and breezy um, and it has a cute little girly shape to it so it's really nice. And then my shorts are from a gold. They're these cute kind of like cut off denim shorts. My sneakers are from Dior and my bag is from Furla. And then I have my Celine sunnies on and my hair in this kind of like low bun because because it is so hot I don't want any hair on my neck and I think this is a cute like chic alternative to a regular ponytail so yeah thought I would try that out today so this is my bike you guys might have seen her in um, my last vlog I think we need to name my bike you guys let me know what you think her name should be she is just so pretty I see you watching me when we're with our friends it's definitely something so let's take it from there Cause I know you want it Afraid to let it show And I know you need it Why don't we let it grow, grow, grow I think it's time we stop tipping on our toes What's holding you back now, sugar? Cause I don't know I sure know you want it Afraid to let it show
Good morning, everyone. It is around nine o'clock in the morning. It's another gorgeous, gorgeous day outside. The sky is completely clear, sun is shining. I just love this time of year so much. I'm like one of those people who can't stop talking about the good weather. I'm currently in my workout clothes because I'm gonna do a little at-home Pilates class and I thought I would show you guys what I've been doing. I found this really amazing girl. Her name is Boho Beautiful and she does has some great great classes and just the whole vibe of her videos so like the setting where she's working out to the music and her voice are all super super beautiful and very uplifting and inspiring so I'm really really loving her workouts she does Pilates and yoga and also some meditation classes as well the last few days I've been doing one of her intro Pilates classes which focuses on the core and on the bum but today I want to try the Pilates intense mat workout which looks to be a little bit more intense and a little bit more advanced so I'm gonna try that one today and then I'm gonna do a bit of yoga afterwards as well it's been about four to five days since I've started doing Pilates regularly and I already feel a difference in my core and just like even when I'm walking around I'm so much more mindful now of my abs and I feel like I have a better kind of mind body connection to them and I pay more attention to keep my core tight even just in like everyday activities when I'm sitting when I'm driving or I'm biking and I'm really really loving the results so I can just imagine how good it's going to be within you know the next few weeks and the next few months so I'm super super excited to see the progress and then after the Pilates and yoga I'm going to get in the shower wash my hair it is in a desperate need to be washed I just kind of slicked it up in a little um bun and then i have a video to film with sephora i'm doing a fun like fall makeup collaboration with them which is going to go up in a few weeks but i have to film it and edit it today and then i'm super excited for this evening because mo and i are going to a thai massage and i love thai massages because it's of course really relaxing they you know press the muscle but they also stretch you so i really like the combination of both and usually thai massages are not as expensive they're not always in the most like luxurious spa setting but they work and they are really really good for the body and just for the mind and to relax I'm really looking forward to that but first we got to work I'm gonna do my Pilates my yoga film and edit and just get lots of work done and then I can really relax and enjoy this evening I just want to quickly show you guys kind of what I mean about my spine and my core I have quite a deep natural curve in my lower back and what can sometimes happen during the day or if I'm not paying attention is my hips can kind of like move forward and this spine can become very curved so what I have to do is strengthen my abs so that my um, hips kind of go back in I'm not trying to completely eliminate this curve I just need to kind of strengthen my core muscles so that I don't you know end up sitting like this or walking like this because that's not good for the lower back that is what the specialist recommended that i do and they suggest doing pilates so that i really just like strengthen this part of my body so that you know it has more support for my lower back if you're thinking about
that was good i feel my core really engaged now in my legs and my bum and that little yoga in the end was really good as well so i would highly recommend her videos i will leave a link for the ones that i did down below but now i have to get in the shower make some breakfast I've had my shower, done my skincare, and I'm now gonna make myself a little smoothie. So we've got some spinach here, which is a great source of vitamins, antioxidants, minerals. It's a really nice way to get in some greens first thing in the morning. And then we've got some frozen mango. This will give a really nice natural sweetness to the smoothie. Plus it's cold and frozen, so it's gonna blend and get really creamy. We've got one ripe banana. It's very important that they are ripe and spotty. Uh, a lemon, a lime, which I'm going to juice here. We've got an apple, uh, some ginger. This is some wheatgrass powder, which I'm gonna add in the smoothie as well. And then I have some oats here, which I'm going to make a little bit later. First, we're gonna take some spinach. I like a lot of spinach. Oops, maybe a little bit more. I really like to get a lot in there. Yeah, that looks good. It's about half of the blender of spinach and kind of like press it down. I'm getting ready to film now. This is the video that I'm doing in collaboration with Sephora. And this is my little setup here. I'm in my beauty room today, not in my living room because I want the background to be nice and clean and white. This is my ring light in front of me, my camera, and this is very important today because it is so, so hot. So this is going to keep me cool as I film. And this video will be for Instagram, so it's gonna be a short video, so there's no sound, so it's okay to have it on. I'm gonna put this on full blast so that it just refreshes me throughout this video. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna film, and I will catch up with you guys a little bit later. So I'm done filming. This is the final makeup look. I really like the gold glittery eyeshadow, the nude lips, the bronzy skin. It's very me, of course, but with a little fall twist. But unfortunately, I have to take it off right now because I am going to go to that um, Thai massage and they massage your head and your face and everything like that so if I kept it on <laughs> it would just be a big big mess but this video will go up in a few weeks on my Instagram if you guys want to see how I got this look <laughs> Hello guys, it is Friday today. I just had some lunch. I made myself this really nice veggie bowl that had quinoa in a tomato sauce with some pumpkin seeds inside or sunflower seeds. I always get those two switched up. But then on the side, there was also some fresh spinach, some sliced cucumber, and some grated carrots. That combination, you guys, is so good. It's so nutritious. 
but so simple and easy and I think that's the key to living a healthy lifestyle day in day out it's just to choose as simple as meals as possible that's how I personally like to eat because it's not complicated it's straightforward and it works so I had my lunch and this morning I did another Pilates workout and another yoga workout I did a different one from yesterday because she just has so many to choose from which is great so you can always like challenge yourself with something new and I'm just so so happy that I decided to do this and take on this new challenge of a workout even though it might seem like a small thing to some of you guys watching we all have our own little insecurities and some insecurities you can actually change and you can take control of and you know you can do something about them and then there are other insecurities that you just kind of have to learn to love and accept and not try to change so I think it's finding that balance between what you can do something about um, and you know what you really have to put extra love and affection towards to learn to accept that part of yourself on the topic of insecurities I thought I would also share something else that I'm a little bit insecure about um, in the spirit of opening up in these vlogs and connecting more with you guys I thought it could be a good opportunity to talk about something else so a lot of you guys may know if you watch my weight loss story my how I lost 20 kilos when I was a teenager video that I posted a few weeks ago and what happens when somebody fluctuates in their weight or is a lot bigger then gets a lot smaller is that they can have areas of their body where their skin is not as tight and as firm as it used to be and for me that part of my body that I'm quite insecure about because of that is my chest and that's that one annoying thing about losing weight and getting fit and just healthy overall is that for a lot of us our chest just like falls way behind <laughs> it doesn't keep up it's like the skin there is in its own little world and maybe some of you guys can relate to that as well maybe you've experienced the same thing I would love to know below but yeah so my chest is not as firm as I would want it to be and I definitely have thought about doing something about it but because I want to have kids soon and baby soon I don't want to mess with this part of my body because it is such a special and beautiful part of a woman's body and I want to have that connection with my baby and I don't want to have a surgery or something that I want to do for myself aesthetically interfere with me being a mom to my future babies which I cannot wait to have you guys I'm so excited to be a mom and for my type of situation and if I were to do anything to my chest it wouldn't be like a standard boob job I don't want big boobs that's not what I want I would just want them to be a little bit firmer and for that to happen they would have to cut around the areola the nipple and tighten and like lift this part of your chest so it's a pretty big surgery it's not just like popping in an implant so because it's quite a sensitive surgery and it can affect a lot of the nerves a lot of the glands and a lot of the connective tissue that would have to be cut and manipulated with I don't want to take that risk of not being able to breastfeed my child just because of an aesthetic thing and also when you're pregnant and you breastfeed your boobs get bigger and then smaller again so I wouldn't want to do anything now and then you know have to go through the same process afterwards that's not to say that I'm 100% sure and set that I would do it but if I were to do it, I would definitely do it after having my kids. So that's something very personal, uh, but maybe some of you guys are going through the same thing. Maybe you also have that insecurity, but it tends to be quite a common thing for people who have lost a large amount of weight to experience and to think about and to deal with. But for the meantime, whether I decide to do it or not in the future, I really don't know yet. I have to see like when I get there. As of now, I just try to do everything that I can to really love myself and to accept myself just as I am and focus on the things that I really really love about myself and not like hone in on you know the few things that I don't 
like about myself and I think that's so important for us all to do because I think we all have insecurities and things that we don't like about ourselves but to counter that I'm sure we can think of like 20 more things that we do actually like about ourselves and they don't just have to be physical I think it's important to appreciate our physical aspects as well but also to think about how we are as a person and how loving we are how helpful we are how kind we can be to other people how much love we can show to ourselves I think it's really important to think about that as well and not just get caught up in the physicalness of it all because I'm guilty of doing that as well and then I have to snap myself out of it and look at the bigger picture of things and it goes back to that point of looking at what you don't like what doesn't make you happy and either changing it or learning to love it and accept it. I think it's just all part of the human experience, but we have to focus on the good, on the things that we love about each other. I don't wanna dwell on this topic too much, but I just wanna share with you guys that I also have some insecurities that I deal with and that I think about, but I try to, yeah, like change the things that I can and then just try to accept and show as much love and kindness to those parts of myself that I can't really change. And for me, having a baby hopefully soon within the next couple of years and wanting to have that really special bond and relationship with my child by breastfeeding, I wouldn't want to jeopardize that because of something, you know, aesthetically that I would want to get done right away. Like if I want to do it, I can wait till later. So I just wanted to share that with you guys and I would love to hear from you if you have any insecurities, what they are. It actually feels really good to talk about it and just like literally get it off my chest. There's something quite therapeutic about it. But along with that, I would also like if you guys could let me know what three things that you really love about yourself. So if you are gonna share an insecurity, please also share three things that you really like about yourself so that you know we keep the balance. So I guess I'll start with that so you guys know that I'm a little bit insecure about my chest and my tummy, but I'm doing something about that. And then three things that I love about myself. So first thing that comes into my mind are my eyes. I can see really well from them and I like my lashes. So um, that's one thing. The second thing that I like about myself is this part of my body, my chest, decolletage, um, shoulder area. And then the third thing would probably be my hair. I really like my hair. It's long and healthy and thick. <laughs> I look forward to reading your comments and thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I'm gonna go continue working and editing that video that I filmed for Sephora yesterday. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and make sure to check the description box down below because I'm gonna try to leave as many links to as many of the items or things that I mentioned in this video. They will all be linked down below in the description box. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys on Wednesday with a new video. Mm -hmm.